An hour before Mass began in the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, the streets of the historic part of Lutsk were already being patrolled by law enforcement officers. At the entrance to the church, children waited in historical costume with Ukrainian traditional Korovai bread. They welcomed the President of Poland and Polish representatives on their commemorative visit in honor of the Volyn tragedy of 1943 and 1944. Andrzej Duda, accompanied by priests of the Lusk Diocese of the Roman Catholic Church, entered, before doors were closed to the press. After the Mass, President Duda visited the ancient church in the village of Olika. Recently, the place of worship was reconstructed under the financial support of the Polish state. Duda visited the Polish cemetery there. He paid tribute to his compatriots and made a short speech. We should build our relations on the principles of truth. The truth must be recognized. There is no room for revenge, though the pain remains. The pain won't subside soon, but I believe the time which heals all wounds will provide a remedy for the pain kept in the hearts on both sides. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko was in the Ukrainian village of Honshi Brod. There he visited the local church of the Holy Trinity, where a monument was erected in 2011 to the victims of the tragedy. Names of 58 villagers who died in the course of these tragic events are carved in the memorial plate. Poroshenko paid tribute to their memory and spoke of the conflict. Me. We, the modern generation of Ukrainians, have no right to let our present and future to be defined by the past, because as it happened over and over again, as a result, those who win of our quarrels are never Ukrainians or Poles, but those who are now committing aggression against our state, who occupy Ukrainian lands, who illegally annexed the Crimea, and who are trying to continue the hybrid aggression from within our country, was their goal? Definitely they aim to divide Ukrainian people and to drive a wedge between Ukrainians and Poles. 89-year-old Vitaly Rudik was just 14 years old when the Volyn tragedy took place. He remembers the incident with sadness, but also with hope. Back in 1944, they attacked our village and shot everyone they saw. But we need to put it behind us. I forgave Poles, and I hope Poles forgive Ukrainians. We should start again from the scratch that will bring us friendship and peace.